In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug Live4j applications. I'm using IntelliJ's IDE. From IntelliJ, you can just uh, start debugging from your test cases. If you look at this application, I have a, a handler here. Just uh, simply re receive a post request and parse the body. After the body is parsed, just convert this body to a string and send the body back to, to the caller. Here you have a test case. The test case is generated by the light code gen. And we pass in this string and expect this particular string returned from the service. If you want to debug you can uh, the server, you can basically say, I want to debug from the test case. Just do this. You can do debug. And you can see the server is started and uh, the, the test request sent to the server and you got the response back. Everything seems normal. If you say, okay, I want to see uh, something happens on the server side. So I'll just set a, a pointer here and do debug again. And you can see at this pointer, you can see the result is here. If you want to debug into the middleware handlers, you can do this. You go to the external libraries and uh, you want to debug any middleware handler, you can basically pick out the middleware handler here. Let's say I want to debug the body handler. I'll set a pointer here. In the body handler, I'll check, okay, what's the content type passed in from the application. So I'll put a pointer here. Stop the previous debug session and start a new one from the test case. And you can see this body handler received the request and it check, okay, the content type is uh, application slash JSON and basically Whenever the content type match application slash JSON, it will basically parse the JSON into an object and put into the exchange. So this is how you debug the application uh, from the test case. Let's stop this debug session and say, I want to debug the server using some external uh, request. So in this case, you need to start the server in the debug uh, mode. What you can do is here in the uh, edit config configuration, you need to set up an application, let's say the server application. What you can do is just uh, click this button and you can add this uh, application and give it a name server. And the main class will be always com network dot server uh, dot server. And the working directory will automatically like uh, put here is your just in your project folder. And the GRE is 1.8. You just need to uh, click uh, apply when you set it up. Now I have everything set up already. I will just say uh, OK. And you want to start a debug session. You can just click here, debug. And pick up the, the server. Now the server is uh, up and running and waiting for the request. I'm going to send the request from uh, a command line so that uh, you, you know like uh, what you're going to expect from the server session. I'll move in a window. This window contains the command line. I'll change a little bit like because uh, the server right now is listening to HTTPS request 8443. We want post data and uh, this is the, the request body. If I enter this, you can see the request come to the same location in the middleware handler. There are numerous middleware handlers in the request response chain. You can put debug in any handler if you want to debug into it. If I say go, you 
you will see the response comes back. This is the response, basically it's exactly the same request. So this is a, the debug from, uh, from the server using an external request. When you are uh, building microservices, chances are you have multiple services interact together. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can have multiple debug sessions on different servers and doing the debug in that way. So now I have a service, this service is called post service. I'm going to put a, a router in front of the service so that uh, the request will go through the router and hit the service. In, in this case, you have multiple uh, services interact with each other. So I move in another window. This window is the router window. In the router, I'll stop the current session right now. In the router, you said it's the router just like another microservice. Nothing is different. It's just a very in a totally different set to middleware handlers. In the router configuration, the debug configuration, you can see it's a little bit different. I start with server and uh, it's the same main class, server. But this time, the router is using an externalized configuration. So the configuration comes from a separate folder. It, you, you do the, the definition here in the VM option, dash D light 4 g uh, dash config, dash DRR equal to the configuration folder. It's basically in, in the network NT uh, light example 4G router post uh, router config. This can be found in the in the GitHub uh, light example 4G folder. I'll click OK. This debug session is set up. And if I want to debug in uh, I'll just start the debug session here. Server and uh, now the router is up running. The router is listening to 8080 port using HTTPS. And uh, my uh, post service is using uh, 8443. So now let me send the request to the router and then subsequently call the, the post service. As you can see, I have uh, the previous request. I was just using that one, but I need to change the port number. to 8880. So now let's change the port number and send the same request. You can see something wrong like uh, on the portal side. It looks like you have some arrows on the portal. Time out. Okay, let's send the request again. Now, okay, I think the reason is time out is because I have uh, the service. Okay, still got got a break uh, breakpoint. Let's remove the breakpoint on the service and let it go. So now let's go back to the portal. Sorry, the router. Send another request to the router. Now you got a response from the router. 
if you say okay i want i want to make a breakpoint on the router you can create a breakpoint in the router as well and i see let's say this i want to see the the service id and the environment tag on the router i'll set a breakpoint here and i'll send the same request so you can see i have a breakpoint here you can see the the service id is the post service and tag is dev and the key this is the key so you can see you can you can set a breakpoint on either side like the router side or on the service side and you can always see the interaction between two different services to make the things a little bit uh, uh, more fun what i can do is i can bring in a real client so this time i create another application and this application basically like a simulate a standalone client and i'm going to call the router from the client you can see calling router this time we're going to call router with 4k json and this is the code okay so I declare a client uh, connection and create a client, uh, client connection to the router and I load the file from 4k.json which is here and I run this 100 times just uh, using the same connection this is the same connection and I loop 100 times to try to uh, use the same connection to get uh, to send a request to the, to the router and subsequently send to the post service and after all 100 requests done, the connection is, is the connection is still alive, then close the connection. So let's run this application. Just run. Reload the class. Okay, I think I have a debug session already. I need to stop it first. And then I run. Now you can see I sent 100 requests and I got a response come back 100 times. You can even say you don't want to run, you want to debug this client application so that you can set some pointer here. You can want, you want to see what, what is this JSON body. You can set a, a pointer here and you can just do the debug from here. Debug this application. Pointer will be set here. Oh, I said the wrong wrong method. This method is now being called. This is the router 4K being called. Okay, sorry. Now you can see the JSON in the debug window. That's the JSON object. And let it go. It will run 100 times to get the result back. Okay, so this is conclude like how you debug using uh, IntelliJ for uh, light platform applications. If you are using Eclipse, it's uh, very similar. The only difference uh, with Eclipse, what I've heard from uh, some other users, uh, you have to load the source code if you want to debug like some dependencies like uh, all the middleware handlers in uh, Live4j. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.